Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. In this video you'll learn how to animate custom logo animation in After Effects. This logo was designed in Adobe Illustrator, and I separated each element into individual layers so that you can easily animate them in After Effects. If you want to learn how to separate elements into individual layers, watch my video where I explain the process. You can download the vector logo file from the link provided in the description below, and follow along with the tutorial. Alright, let's move forward and jump into After Effects. First things first, let's create a composition, and name it. You can see the rest of the composition settings on the screen. Let's import the vector file. Make sure you choose Import as Composition. Retain layer sizes. OK, this is our composition. Just drag and drop it here, then open it. As you can see, there are lots of vector layers in the composition, and we want to convert them into shape layers. Simply select all the layers, right click, and choose Create, Create Shapes from Vector. Now you can delete the vector layers, because we don't need them anymore. After that, rename each layer one by one for better recognition. Then, select layers L1, L2, and L3, and change the color of their layers. Hide the letters, and lock them. Next, select the red layers, duplicate them, and move them above all the layers. Also, change the color of these duplicated layers. Now we can hide and lock these red layers. After that, select layer L6. You can see that the anchor point is currently placed at the center of this shape, but I want to change its position. Select the Pen Behind tool by pressing Y on the keyboard and change the anchor point position. Then, Duplicate this layer, choose the Rotation tool, and rotate this shape. Repeat this process one more time. After that, you need to create a flower-like shape with five leaves. We already have five leaves, just arrange them accordingly. Then, add a null object to this composition, and place it at the center of this shape. Select all five leaf layers, and parent them to the null layer. Also, rename this layer so that we can control the five leaves together with one null layer. Align it to the center of this composition. Then, open the rotation properties of the null layer, and click on the stopwatch to make a keyframe. Move the time indicator forward, and add one more keyframe here. Go back to the first keyframe, and change the rotation value to around 300. Check the preview. Select both keyframes, and ease them. Go to the Graph Editor, select this point, and adjust the graph. Check the RAM preview. If it's too fast at the end, adjust the handles accordingly. Now select all leaf layers, open the position properties, and add a keyframe. Move the time indicator and add one more keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe. Now, pay attention. You need to change the position of each leaf individually in a straight line. Let's see the preview. Alright! Now select all layers, and press S to open the scale properties. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Press U to reveal all the keyframes of the layers. Move the time indicator, and add a keyframe. Let me extend this so you can see all the keyframes. Or maybe I should move this panel this way. Alright, go back to the first frame and change the scale value from 100% to 
Check the RAM preview. Press P on the keyboard to reveal only the position properties. Then, select all the keyframes and ease them. Select all position keyframes and adjust them. Now, open the graph editor. Then, adjust the graph to create the desired effect. Check the RAM preview. It's looking good. Then, select the ellipse tool to create a circle. Hold Shift plus Control and drag the mouse to create a perfect circle. Make sure the fill is set to none. And the stroke width should be around 3. Alright, let's rename the layer as Circle. Then open Layer Options and find Stroke Width. Click on the Stroke Width stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then go back to the first frame and add one more keyframe. Then go back to the second keyframe and change the stroke width to 0%. Press S on the keyboard to reveal the scale properties and add a keyframe. Then go back to the first keyframe and add another keyframe here, setting the value to 0%. Press U to reveal all the keyframes, then select all keyframes and ease them. Open the graph editor, select this point, and adjust the graph. Then, close the graph editor and drag the layer where the leaf animation ends. This looks good. Welcome to part 2 of this tutorial. In this part, you'll learn how to animate each leaf individually as if it's flying in the wind. So let's get started. First, I'll make the red layers visible and unlock them. After that, I'll change the color of the shapes. Then lock them again. I'll use these shapes as a reference, but before that, let me lock the circle layer and null layer as well. Alright, so I want this leaf to move like this, and be placed here. So the easiest way is to select the pen tool, and make sure the fill is set to none. If you wish, you can set the stroke width to zero for now. All right, everything is good. Now I can make the path using the pen tool. You can take your time and create a path according to your needs. After creating the path, select the shape layer and search for path to reveal the path properties. Then click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe and simply copy this keyframe. Then select the leaf layer, which you want to move along the path. Then split the layer by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus D. Then select the split layers and change the color of them to recognize them. Then select the split layer and press U to reveal all the keyframes. Then click on the stopwatch to delete the keyframes. Now pay attention to this point. First, Deselect the layer, then select Position Only, and paste the keyframe here which we copied from the Path Shape layer. At this point, I want to clarify some things. Some of you may think that I copied only one keyframe from the Path layer, and when I paste it here, there are many keyframes. So the answer to this question is whenever we copy a Path keyframe and paste it on the position properties of a different layer, the paths are converted into positions, and vertices are converted into keyframes. All right, let's get back to the video. After pasting the keyframe, you'll see this path here. Simply select it and drag this to the leaf like this. At this point, you have to adjust the position of the leaf manually, so it will take some time. After that, if I check the animation, the leaf is not following the path correctly. So to fix this, first I adjust the position of the last keyframe of this shape. Then go back to the first keyframe, then press R to open Rotation Properties, 
and add a keyframe, then move the time indicator and add another keyframe here. Then select the layer and right click. And under the transform option, choose auto oriented. This box will open. You simply choose orient along path and click OK. Then change the rotation of the leaf to match the perfect position. Then go to the second keyframe and delete it. Then copy the first keyframe and paste it here. Check the RAM preview. Press U on the keyboard to reveal all the keyframes. Then go to the last keyframe and check if the leaf is misplaced, so make some adjustments to place it perfectly, including rotation. Basically you need to match the reference leaf by adjusting rotation and position. After that, if everything looks good, then open scale properties and add a keyframe at the first frame. Then move forward a bit and change the scale value to around 50%. Then move the time indicator and copy paste this keyframe. Then go to the last keyframe and set the scale to 100%. After that, check the animation by dragging the time indicator. If anything is not looking perfect, simply fix it. After that, select the first and last keyframe of position and make them easy ease. Let's see the preview. Alright, it's looking nice. So, since I've created this leaf animation, you'll get an idea of how to do it. Now, I want you to complete the rest of the leaf animation by repeating this process. So, I've animated all three leaves. And now I'll show you how to create these lines that perfectly follow the leaves. Firstly, select the pen tool and draw a random path in the composition. Then select the leaf layer and press P on the keyboard to reveal the position properties. Click on the position and copy it. Next, select the shape layer and search for path to reveal path properties. Select the path and paste the copied position. You'll see the position paths pasted into the shape layer. Now you can increase the width of the stroke of this layer. Rename this layer as Line 1. Close the menu and add Trim Path. Open the Trim Path option. Click on the stopwatch to add keyframes. Move back and add another keyframe. Then, change the end value to 0% on the second keyframe and the start value to 100%. Select the start keyframes and move them forward. If it looks too long, adjust the keyframes to get the perfect look. Select all keyframes and apply Easy Ease. Lastly, adjust the keyframes by dragging the time indicator in the timeline. Let's preview it. Nice, it's looking good. I hope you understood the point, so I quickly finished the rest of the leaf animation and then moved forward to text animation. Alright, let's animate the text. First, Unlock the layer and make it visible. Then select a letter and open scale properties. Click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Basically you need to add four keyframes. The first keyframe value should be 0%, then 105% for the second one, 95% for the third one, and lastly 100%. Select all keyframes and apply Easy Ease. Then adjust the keyframes like this and check the RAM preview. If the animation looks good, simply copy the scale keyframes, then select all layers and paste them. After that, rearrange the layers like this. Let me change the color so you can see it better. Then move them forward to match the rest of the animation movements. Let's see the final preview. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new today. Practice on your own and follow me for more custom logo animation tutorials. Until then, take care and be creative.